Okay, help. Um, this is a word uh, in the last few years of my life I heard a lot. Um, I believe myself that I've always helped people. Um, the definition I can take out, you know, um, for help here is a. Uh, okay, anyways, uh, uh, for most people don't know, it's a verb as well as a noun. It's two complete, basic, different words that people kind of screw up together. Now, um, uh, to aid is one meaning, and to assist is another meaning. That's how I'm going to try to explain it. And if you can understand those two meanings, um, aid is a lot different than assist. Um, often you're not paid to aid somebody. Uh, uh, let's put it that way. It shouldn't be at least. Uh, you know, but, uh, you know, a fireman w would get paid and they would be helping you. Okay. But then you've got, like, help that is assistance. Now, that would be different where, you know, uh, uh it's not necessarily required, but it's it's good. Now, uh, my newer dictionary, uh, or, uh, uh, basically, again, uh, to make something easier, better, less painful for a person or thing. Okay, and then you got uh, the uh, the act of helping or relieving um, any person or thing that helps. You know, because you got you got to think there's like help like a like a servant, uh, you know, or a butler, if you will. You know, you consider that help. Now that's that's not help. That's a, like I would say assistance because you're paying. You'd be paying them on that sense. Now, um, to me, uh, a lot of people think they help other people. You can't always say it, but the majority of the time you can say that if there's any advantage in it for you. It's not help. You are not helping. What you're trying to do is give yourself a word, a title, to make yourself feel better for generally or often something bad you've done. Um, people may even say thanks for the help and they're giving you $20. Well, now you're not helping anymore. You're working. You're assisting. You're, okay, it's a different form of help. Okay, if you saw somebody drowning, or drowning, sorry, uh, you wouldn't... Uh, uh, can I help them? If you're that kind of person, there are people I work that wouldn't help that person. Their life is uh, never would be put in the risk, you know. Or maybe because they assess the situation or they know a situation they may. Now, if you get a person that's maybe not the smartest person, but they don't know that they're about to die, but they're willing to help that person. And they put themselves in danger and they die from it. That person tried to help. You could see they, they put all... Everything away, you know, their mind was, let's say, a blank, but they tried to help. Now, that's what I would call help. A person that is doing something because uh, uh, um, they want to do it and are willing to take basically at any cost. It's basically at that, at any cost. Now, again, sometimes you could have helped somebody and they've given you maybe a gift afterwards because you helped them. Now, that's a different story and a different scenario. But I believe people don't understand what help is. And when you help somebody, when you truly help somebody, um, I don't, I don't want to say when I've helped people because I feel almost like it's bragging when I have to say it for myself. You know, so when, when, I, but I know that when I've helped people, when I've done it at a complete cost, I mean, I could, I could say things and not, not be too, too obvious. But like, for instance, I would go cut my mother's grass and I never felt like I was uh, helping her when I would cross town, like I have a riding tractor. So I would cross the town and I'd go there. But on the way there, uh, there's a whole bunch of people that, you know, that I uh, say can't afford or don't do their front lawns. I don't know which is which. And I know some of them are very low income. And what I would do is on my way there, it just dropped, take me five minutes and I'd cut their front yard. And then maybe once a month, I'd jump into their backyard and cut that too. And I'd never, I'd always do it when they weren't around. And, and that was how I felt to help. Now, eventually they knew it was me and they did want to give me money and stuff. But I, for me, I could never accept because someday I love cutting the grass. That's one thing I just like doing. So I didn't even consider it helping a way. 
but you know they I know would and and others would and to me that's what helping you know they don't have a lawn mower you know they can't do it themselves and I'm sure there's neighbors all around there looking to say and discuss at these people now to me that gives me um uh because because I can do it and then you know I get the weed whacker out and I do a nice job of it and everything when I'd go there to do the big you know job and everything now I know how to do it that's one big thing is I, I'm good at it I like doing it and I'm and I and I've you know say I'm skilled at it so I can do it quick too so I you know it's uh, I have the confidence in being able to help them just like uh, uh, now to take it to a higher extreme um, a lifeguard is skilled to go help not to say without question but you know and they know assessment of a situation to go help a, sit a person that is is drowning and and be able to be say successful and good at it and and say they're being paid but those people are actually helping you know and they have the confidence in what they were doing sometimes you shouldn't have confidence in helping people because uh, you can get those uh, help can cause true help I should say when you can cause a form of confidence in people that maybe they shouldn't have you know it's a good good and a, and a bad edge short so you know I hope you get the understanding how I come across on help because I believe people should be should help others and never think about it at your cost now if you want a good idea how to maybe help somebody um, uh, the next person that's in line may be in front of you and you're at a store and uh, 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 you notice that they don't have their money out rather than be angry that they don't have their money out and I'm just getting this idea real quick because of uh, Kelly and Michael I uh, two I believe it was two mornings back or three mornings back uh, uh, the week I guess it would be you know, January or sorry uh, 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 June I don't know, around June 24th Michael had said is one of his pet peeves is people are in line and they don't have their money out ready and, and it bugs them because they know they need their money so maybe it would be instead of being upset with them be a help and when you know they don't have your money ahead you know that's what I would say to Michael because for him it would help him help others and I'm sure when he's done rather than see it in a negative or a uh, you know, a, a bad point of view he'd be looking at it he would actually feel positive for what he he just helped somebody that wasn't organized this is maybe not their necessarily fault maybe maybe uh, somebody just passed away in their life and they've their minds completely and now you're mad at them because they don't have their money out on time so you know being helpful or being a help to somebody is sometimes going to cost you and that's the strongest kind of help in fact i hope that uh, michael strahan uh actually watches this video and likes it um anyways uh you know i think when you help people it causes a confidence inside yourself that for what you've done and it, it teaches you an ability you didn't have whether it's helping somebody drown or helping somebody just in a line you know or maybe uh, it's an older lady that needs help out to the car you know and, and you, you, not to say you're, you're working out and you're getting stronger but then you're able to and then you're helping a person carry in a couch because you, you you you've gotten good at, at work not to say working out but using your your muscles and you are a really weak person at the beginning you know it could be one of these simple things that help others and it'll cause you know a form of confidence in you uh, that that and I mean true help all right I hope people get that